Now I got a ride or die In today's video to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor Atrial. The Atrial AP200 Bluetooth OBD2 scanner and code reader is a full systems diagnostics for your car. This OBD2 scanner with Bluetooth helps read and clear your engine check light and other vehicle systems. Processing full OBD2 modes functions on all of your car's systems. It also has the solutions for all of 19 features including DPF and SAS features. The OP200 OBD2 scanner works in most cars after 1996. With this OBD2 scanner, you can diagnose one specific car for free and get a free lifetime update for your specific vehicle software. Plus, it's only $21.99 for a full 12-month use of the scanner. Massive thank you to the guys for sponsoring today's video. Remember, there is a link in the description to this product, so let's get back to the video. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a beautiful M3, we have its owner, and we're gonna go around this car and just show you what it's all about. I do love this shape E92. They are classic BMW styling with um, a couple of mods on this one. The first thing to point out, this was white. Yeah. Um, it has a full beautifully done wrap over it. Not sure who wrapped it though, so let us know below if you do know. They've done a very good job though, very nice tight lines, and it's sort of a satin, gray with a yeah. bit of sparkle in it done very well though and it looks very menacing in this color i do like it um we'll come up the front though because there's a lot of gloss black bits and stuff that have been put on the car We've got gloss black kidney grills carbon fiber down here as well look at that very nice styling upgrades oh, i like those bits look very aggressive at the front end another thing to point out and you can actually see it really well in the camera is the bulge on yeah. the bonnet can't you you can really see this bulge in this color sometimes if you do get a white one you can't quite see that is that is that it's the big bulge on the front yeah. Yeah. yeah and another thing is the the uh wing mirrors as well i absolutely love the wing mirrors on these and the way they look around we've got a bit of carbon on there as well and a bit of carbon on the m3 badging just there Another thing to point out, and why I would buy one of these carbon fibre roof. Yeah. <laughs> that is just like the nicest thing ever. Carbon fibre from the factory, complete roof on the E92 M3s. And this being a coupe as well, I think it wears its coupe look very, very well. Um, tinted windows at the back. Original wheels? They're the competition pack. Competition wheels, yeah. but very, very nice looking um, on the car. Staggered just right at the back as well. I think they look really good. We'll come around to the back of the car where we have even more carbon fiber with a little lip spoiler, M3 badging, but in black as well. Standard exhaust system with a bit of fettling. Yeah. So it does sound better than it would from the factory. 100% better. Cause you need that V8 to, to growl, don't yeah, we? Let's yeah. be honest. We'll have a little nose inside for you guys because obviously if you're gonna actually buy one of these, this is what you're going to expect. Inside we have a very comfy interior actually, isn't it? Very, very comfortable. Huge chunky steering wheel in these. If you've ever driven one, you'll sort of know what I'm talking about. We were just chatting. Yeah. It's it's really thick and you can grip it. And this being the DCT, you don't have to take your uh, hands off steering wheel when it goes sideways, which is even better. <laughs> of course, if you're after a DCT, we'll go into a bit more what they're actually like to drive with the DCT gearbox. But if you're going for manual, Go for a manual, yeah, M3s, right. you know, manual and all that. Um, carbon fiber styling inside with these chunky seats with M badging just at the top there. But relatively simple, but very clean inside these. And I do like where all the buttons are laid out and yeah. stuff with the iDrive and the power button and stuff down here. Very, very cool. But what we're gonna do is, we are going to take this for a lovely spirited drive. Go and enjoy this thing. Talk about, you know, slight ownership of it, costs, we're going to enjoy ourselves, aren't we, mate? Yeah, we we're will. We're going, yeah. going to go and enjoy ourselves. Oh, it just sounds so sad. Oh my god. Oh, 
it like when you change down it goes rawr, rawr, like barking Rolls, like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know when you poodle it doesn't actually sound that loud? It sounds like a and then car. Oh mate, it sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah. So what we're going to do now is I've brought you along. We're going to chat about the reality of owning this car. Um, a lot of people out there, especially myself, I actually wanted one of these at one point or an M5. Stupidly, I wanted a V10 M5, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Bad times, bad idea. But you at 23 years old have, ha have got this thing. And I think a lot of 20 year olds, especially if I was still in my 20s, I'd absolutely love one of these. So the reality of actually having this car, you know, on a daily basis and stuff, how much is your MPG? What's what? What are you putting into the fuel tank, and how much is it to actually run it? Do you know what I mean? Because that's the main talking yeah. point here. Because yeah, people is. are so scared of V8s yeah. these days. So um, I get about 18 miles to the gallon. Uh, it's all right. Which all right. isn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, but I only I don't commute to work in it because okay. I, I walk to work. I live around the corner from where that's I work. That's a good idea, mate. So, so you um, can have a V8 so, out yeah, of the driveway. That, that's what's Take justified note, me having this. <laughs> Um, because I don't commute in it daily. I completely understand that. So it's used, uh, I've, I've had it for about seven months and I've done like 4,000 miles. That's not bad. Um, you still but, enjoyed it then, that's the main thing. Yeah, uh, the, the fuel is, it, it drinks it, it really yeah. does. Um, but I think that's relative to how much you do use it. So if you yeah, are using it for just, you know, a fun car, more than yeah. anything, you just take it out and kick it in when you want, then yeah. that's quite nice. <laughs> What sort of, how much are you paying to fill the whole car up? So a full tank with Shell V power is about 90 to 100 quid. Really? Uh, so yeah. quite a big tank on these, it's, aren't they? Yeah, it's, um, it's quite, it, yeah, it takes a lot to fill it up. Yeah. Uh, and I could probably use that tank in like two days. Wow. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> when, Again, when, reality of yeah. actually owning one yeah, of these, that's uh, what it is, yeah. So I think when I first got it and I was out in it all the time, um, just I chucking was, fuel in it. I was honestly <laughs> just going straight straight from my bank straight into the fuel tank. Yeah, like, I like that. On a daily basis. So if I was going to buy one of these tomorrow, because this was actually purchased from Hendy Performance, so yeah. shout out Steve at Hendy yeah. Performance shout while we're here. Steve. He's, you know, this is a bloody lovely car. This yeah. is really, really tight and it just feels nice. Yeah. But what would you say if I was going to go and buy one? Yes, go and buy a nice one, go and buy one that's had service history and stuff, yeah. but is there any crazy faults that we should know about? Uh, looking on the internet, I have seen a lot of um, rod bearings and stuff go okay. uh, a lot. Um, yeah. So something to note that if you were going to buy one, probably get one that has had that done? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd uh, suggest making sure that's done before buying one. Yeah, understandable. Um, but honestly, just like uh, general maintenance, keep it, keeping it serviced, keeping the oil tops up and um, things like that. Just Help. simple yeah. stuff, but it's an M car, you want it to have a service history anyway. Yeah, exactly. And I think if you're going to buy a very cheap one of these, be prepared to yeah, you, you come out the other side with spending exactly. as much as you have, you want to spend, buying it as yeah. fixing it. Yeah. You want to spend a little bit more, make sure it's, it's sorted. Um, and to be, in my personal opinion, I'd go for something completely standard. Yeah. I would never buy something that's been modified uh, and, and been you, played you, with. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know yeah. what's been done to it, you yeah. don't know how bad it's been. Um, been hurt yeah so. so the other side of that is what modifications are on your m3 <laughs> so um originally it's white yeah uh, which is what i wanted um and then one day i received a picture from steve uh <laughs> look at this yeah he's, he's like okay he's question mark like saying interested yeah um fell in love with it instantly the color was just incredible yeah. uh, it's wrapped in I, I think it's like satin grey with like glitter and bit stuff. Bit of metallic in there, yeah, which is quite nice when the really, sun hits it. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, went down, I, was, I was on holiday at the time, so I got back, went down and had a look at it, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> you were sold the on this spot, yeah. yeah. I like uh, that. It's got a few. It's definitely got an exhaust or some fettling from the exhaust, because that V8, well, you, in my opinion, you would put an exhaust on something like this because it needs that yeah. rasp and sound and stuff. So this, this is this is a standard exhaust from I don't know what's been done to it previously. Yeah. Um, but this is the stock exhaust with some 
some play, well, some let's playing. say, yeah, um, some open bits, let's say, yes. <laughs> but a bit more breathing, a little bit yeah, more. Exactly. Um, that that natural aspirated engine, it's good from factory, and it's good, you know, with all the cats and everything in it and boxes yeah. and that. But when you do start to open it up, we were chatting, and this actually has a dyno printout yeah. for 460. 460 yeah. So these come out at what 420? Yeah. So it's picked up some horsepower somewhere, yeah. Yeah. and that's you know breather mods more than anything but another thing to note is they they do slightly react well to you know a couple of exhaust and, and air filter bits and bobs yeah, um but just general servicing will keep that brake horsepower figure alive exactly. i think yeah. more than anything things to point out uh very comfortable one yeah. <laughs> very nice and the size of the steering wheel is so thick yeah. and like my bmw x6 that i had isn't it is a world away from this don't get me wrong but it's the same generation and i was expecting the steering wheel especially to be like the same sort of circumference and everything yeah. is completely different no. it's like thick and small yeah and i really like that and the way it changes gear it blips so nicely and yeah. this is the dct so if you're going to go for dct this is sort of what you're going to get it does um very quickly change gear and yeah. react yeah. to your yeah. actual input into yeah into, into the car which is really impressive i obviously everybody wants an m car with a manual box and blah blah but i think i as a lazy person would have a dct just because i like yeah automatics and stuff but i would probably go for this one i think even like we'll, we'll take this corner now and i'll drop it into second oh that changed down oh my god and it's like it turns in so tight <laughs> we're literally using about a couple of thousand revs yeah. it does rev round to what 75 what are we 8000 rpm yeah yeah so it, that is it does just keep going yeah for a natural aspirated v8 you've yeah. got to realize that that is high yeah. very very high and that's what made this car what it is yeah is the the natural aspirated engine obviously but how well it revs yeah, it's like, but yeah that's what it's all about is the the natural aspirated feel of this car no turbos and crazy yeah. surgeons yeah. bit of traction control there lovely spins up well yeah spins up yeah, very well that's, that's what we like to see <laughs>